back team forever back again with another video and it's time for another big brother 20 video i am so excited to talk about this week so i'm so let's just start because i don't want this video to be too long y'all know i ramble okay so we left off with angela winning hoh which i was not happy about it was down to angela and rockstar we in for a bumpy hoh with this one so angela's plan was to put up scotty and Rockstar and I'm so glad she did that because as y'all know probably I'm not a big fan of pawns I'm not a big fan of a lot of things. I'm not a big fan of the back door or pawns or um, Or like a, a um, Unanimous vote. I think that's how you say the word <laughs> like I like people to be themselves like whatever, whatever. Um, but anyway, she puts up those two and she don't mind either one of them going home But her plan is the back door Bailey so basically they have this hacker competition which i loved let me say it was really really fun to watch um and it was it was up to it was down to scotty um Haley, and tyler it could have been a three-way tie and i don't know what would happen then but Haley ended up winning her first competition i was really really happy for her because she's not performed well at all like rockstar has definitely outperformed um, Haley at this point like cuz even inside the first competition that she played when she had to stack the words and spell house, house guests she was last up there with um, Sam so Rockstar had already finished that like Rockstar was final two in the final in the last HOH with Angela Haley really hasn't done anything so I was really excited that she won this she played it off really well I, nobody ex suspected her except Bessie Bessie was on to her um, he was questioning her like all week about it, but she kept denying it, denying it, denying it. Um, she decided to take Scotty down because she didn't want it to be obvious by taking Rockstar down, who was her girl, and she put up Tyler. I think this was just a bad move all out. Like, if I was Haley and I won the hacker, I would definitely take Rockstar down and put up, you can put Tyler up. Take Rockstar down, put Tyler up, because you're not HOH. So that way, Tyler wins HOH. Um, they put Rockstar back up, or even if they put Bailey up, you can just still vote Scotty out. But you left your friend up there so that they had the opportunity to put another one of your friends up. So I think that was just all out a bad idea. My eyes are always watering in these videos. But anyway. Um, so Bailey's having a rough week because Angela's... Oh, wait, no, I didn't even get to that yet. So, the veto was, like, the next day, so Tyler didn't stay on the block long. Um, I don't really like this veto competition. Um, I I like the two individuals. Like, I feel like the veto should have been either you take the ball and you roll it 250 times, that's how it usually is, and the winner wins, or it should have been the luxury competition, which, you know, when they get the prizes. That's how they usually do it, but they put these two inside one. Casey actually, oh, and this was another bad idea. Haley picked Casey to play in the veto. What was that about? You should have just picked Fessy. People already thought it was Bailey. So, I mean, just pick Fessy. Or just, well, because Fessy probably could have won. He could have probably beat Tyler, but Haley couldn't. So, Angela begs to keep the veto. Scotty won another luxury because i think he's going to greece and now he won five thousand dollars tyler won the trip to hawaii um tyler still got this little uh power app in his back pocket too so he expect him to be around he's not going home this week i'm um, just spoiler alert for what's gonna happen later when i talk about the hoh competition so um where was i tyler wins the hoh i mean the veto and he's you know talking trash to the hacker thinking it's bailey Angela talks to Bailey like they're best friends and all this crap like they talk about how they've been friends since day two And they really have been they've been friends, you know for a while and Angela talked crap about her in her speech That had to be like heartbreaking if that was your real friend and she were so you thought and then she just talked crap like that in her speech, but then Tyler talked crap at the kitchen counter with sunglasses on i don't really know what's the big deal with sunglasses on is that like i'm trying to be shady can somebody leave that in the comments like what's the big deal about wearing sunglasses because i don't know um sorry i keep looking at myself instead of looking at the camera right here but um so basically 
Bailey's having a bad week, you know, crying and stuff, thinking she's going home. Everybody turned on her. She had a little moment with Casey where they got in a little argument, a little spat. Because Casey knew what was going on this whole time. And then she has a moment with Haley because Haley just couldn't hold it in any longer and she told her i owe you an apology i want to have her competition everybody was upset online but to be honest this was very nice to see like you can tell that they are genuinely fr genuinely friends and it, it was nice to see it was a nice moment um and then she told fessy but fessy already knew and at first bailey was saying no to the house meeting and Fessy was saying no to the house meeting. And Haley kept saying, no, nah, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And then they both flipped and was like, yeah, have the house meeting. And then she didn't want to do it. So I just thought, you know, that was weird. You should just, once they said no, just kept it, you know. But like, all right, <laughs> you know, could have kept it as a secret. But you are about to blow up your own game. And that's exactly what she did. Then she told Rockstar because that's her friend. She didn't want to blindside her at the meeting. And, you know, Rockstar took it real well. If y'all don't see... How Rockstar reacted, I suggest looking it up online because Rockstar reacted really good. Um, she was really excited because she's like she was talking to Haley and Fess about the hacker after Haley had told Fess. So they were just looking at her like she was stupid. Like, yeah, yeah, this hacker. This hacker. And then Rockstar was talking about, um, I'm just going to expose them and be like, I'm the hacker. You know, so that they can feel bad about doing this to Bailey. And, you know, Haley and Fess, he's just laughing because Haley's the hacker. Anyway, so the house meeting, I was going to make a video on this house meeting yesterday because I saw it live on the feeds, actively sitting there watching the feeds, waiting for it to happen because I, I was in so anticipated and I had to go to work, but I was just watching because I'm like, I got to see this. And it was great. It was so great. I suggest looking up the whole video um, online if you haven't seen it, the whole video uncut, unedited from the live feeds. Look that up. Um... But <sighs> Bailey definitely overreacted, and y'all know if y'all watch my all my reviews, y'all know I'm I haven't been a fan of Bailey. I haven't liked her since um her preseason interview. I didn't like her inside the house, and I still I'm not a fan of her. Her power trip last week was was definitely a power trip. She was talking to Fessy crazy. She talked to Rockstar crazy. She talked to Haley crazy. She didn't talk to the other side crazy. You talked to all your friends crazy, but not the other side. But again, like when she went off on Rockstar and told her to shut up and all that, you didn't do nothing to Angela. She didn't even address Angela inside this house meeting. But the reason why Bailey went too far, but I, I kind of see it, but I kind of don't. Okay. I understand her hurt because Tyler and well more Angela was her friend but the whole y'all been treating me like crap and she told hey uh, Tyler he made her life a living hell no no they didn't treat you like crap because they just didn't talk to you just because somebody don't talk to you inside of a house don't mean they treating you like crap they might be treating you like you don't exist but so what oh well why do you care <sighs> a living hell Absolutely not. If that's hell, then watch season 19 and see how they treated Jessica and Cody. Like, that would be more justified. They didn't do nothing to you, but and it was only two people. Casey was still talking to you. It was Tyler and Angela. That's it. So, Bailey, she went way too far. She was screaming so loud that she bit her own mouth. And started bleeding. If y'all saw that in the clip, she was definitely bleeding in her mouth a lot. Um, also, she, she wasn't telling the truth when she said Tyler, um, Tyler went to her and tried to throw Angela under the bus. That wasn't true. Like, they even showed the clip in the episode, but I saw it when I was watching live. I was like, I don't remember. And I think Bailey honestly truly don't remember. I think Bailey took it the wrong way, but Tyler really did just say, Angela's going up, right? Like a question. Bailey took it like he was throwing her under the bus. He wasn't. So Bailey looks crazy and it's her fault. So they campaigned. I don't know why they thought that this was going to make Bailey stay, but I guess it did earn her a vote from, gain her a vote from Sam. But let's go on to just the, the, the nomination or the eviction ceremony. 
Um, Rockstar's speech was horrible this time. Last time it was funny and cool and, you know, she went on. But this time it was just like, shut up. What are you talking about? Like, shut up. Just sit down. Um, she should have ended it after she said, I would like to not meet Julie in this dress. I love all of y'all. I would not campaign against Bailey. Shout out to all my kids. Y'all know y'all name. Shout out to Chris. Thank you. That's it. She should have sat down. But she just kept going and going and going. Bailey's speech, whatever, you know, I, I find it fake. Now all of a sudden you love everybody. I hate when they do that. And she did exactly what I talked about last week, how Rachel did. Oh, wait, Rachel didn't leave last week, did she? Yeah, Rachel left last week. So how Rachel left, and I was like, oh, yeah, I love how people are being real this season. You know, if you don't get along with somebody, you don't care, don't, it don't matter. You don't got to hug them and stuff. But Bailey hugged everybody on her way out and said, I love all y'all. The thing she said about I'm not a crazy black lady, I, I don't like that. I hate when people who are black try to play the black card or the race card, um, especially when they educate it. It's the thing, when you stupid and you do that, then it's, all right, oh, they just being stupid. They trying to, you know. But Bailey seemed educated, and she, she graduated college in three years, three and a half years. No, they not playing, thinking you're a crazy black lady. Nobody in America thought that. Like, you just keep saying that, like, Nobody in that house is racist. Not one person. Even JC, not one person is racist. It's not like season 15. You know? That's where Candace could have said that. We've seen season 15. She could have said that. It wasn't even season 19. Because, you know, they could have said that about Jessica. They could have been thinking that about Jessica or about Dominique. Actually, Dominique got, you know, Paul was in blackface, so... Mm. Uh, Bailey plays the victim a lot, and that's why I didn't. That's not why I didn't like her, cause I didn't like her since day one, before day one, negative day one. Like, I find it funny that my people are still in. The only person that is that I really liked that got eliminated was Caitlyn, and y'all know I went back and forth for her, but uh, Fessy, Rockstar, Haley, and Scotty, those are my people, and. Scotty is who I predicted will win the whole show in my preseason interviews or review. Um, now I'm thinking that the winner will be Brett. I can also see the winner being Haley. I don't see Rockstar winning no matter who she's sitting next to, unfortunately, because it seems like the people in the house don't like her. But, but um, then we go to the HOH uh, competition. Bailey's interview was whatever, you know. Like, who do you think you are? Like, when Brett did his little speech, and you were like, oh, he's actually annoying. He didn't know what was going on. Everybody's still love. Brett knew everything that was going on. He's playing you. You don't know what's going on. That's why all your people are getting eliminated. Swaggy, Rachel. Well, I don't know if Caitlyn was your person or not, but Steve. Like, what are you doing? And these people that you thought were your friends turned on you. Angela did never like you. Tyler, he said he would flip on you at any moment. Oh, I didn't even talk about the fallout from the not the from the house meeting with level six. They didn't believe Bailey. They still think Haley's the uh hacker. Or that Bailey's the hacker. I felt bad for Tyler when he kept saying I'm not a villain like that and how he was crying and stuff. I felt it kinda real because he's not. He's not like he's Paul or um that one guy from season 15 that went home early, I don't remember his name. Um, he not a villain, you know? And I, I don't like Tyler. I'm not a fan of Tyler. I'm a fan of his gameplay. But he's not a villain. Like, And Bailey did make him seem like one. Because he didn't throw Angela under the bus. That's true. So, you know? And he didn't really do nothing to Bailey. He just ignored her. Well, he did say, I'm voting you out. But, I mean, whoop de do. Welcome to being on the block, Bailey. I'm sure people tell Rockstar that all the time. Rockstar starting needs to start keeping her mouth shut, too. She had no reason to jump in on that conversation, on that house meeting. But, anyway, HOH competition. I see that this video is going to get a long. HOH competition. Uh, basically, Haley wins. Haley, Brett put up Haley and Fest, and then he put up Haley and Rockstar. So, I hope Haley did notice it. She did notice that Brett was, you know... JC picked Tyler and Rockstar, which was, I guess, he got to play the middle. He got to make it seem like, you know, I'm not on either side. So, good. He's got, probably got the best game right now. Um, Haley won.
thank God she won. Because if she didn't, she was out the door. She's about to nominate Casey and Angela and plan on backdooring uh, Tyler. But, and this is where I fear. She's going to nominate Casey and Angela. The hacker's going to take one of them down put somebody else up. Or maybe, hopefully they stay the same. Best case scenario, they stay the same after hacker. Then she's going to take one of them down, probably KC, and try to put Tyler up. But Tyler's got that app, so he's not going up. I hope she puts Brett up, because if she puts anybody else up, they're going home, and that's not in level four, level six. You need to put Brett up, because he's the other member. If you put Scotty up, he's going home. You put Sam up, she's going home. And they are on your side, Haley. Please play this smart. You have to put Brett up. You. I hope you noticed what he did. You said you noticed. Please, just do it. There's also some drama going on with Fessy and Scotty, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, other than that, um, Sam. Sam also switched sides. She doesn't like Tyler no more. She doesn't like Angela no more. She's best friends with Rockstar. Rockstar and Bailey were like her best friends, and now Bailey's gone. By the way, Sam was the only person to keep Bailey. But anyway... That's it for this week's video. Be sure to leave comments. I really want to talk about this season. This is the best season of Big Brother that I've seen. Y'all know I haven't seen that many seasons, but this is such good television. I love it. Best show on TV right now. I never watch it on TV, though. I watch, I you got the CBS app. Okay, I'm rambling now, but I don't have CBS. I watch, um, well, I probably do, but I watch on the CBS app, and I watch the live feeds, so... Catch you later. <laughs>